Right, it is 4am and I'm about to get ready to go to Italy. And I've woken up a little bit. Alright, so it is uh, 5.35, got up at 4 as you saw from my uh, start of this video. We've been driving for about an hour and we've got another hour and 15 minutes to go. I'm being nice and safe, hands free, um, doing this recording. But yeah, just a quick one, uh, feeling a bit more alive now I've had a coffee. Um, and yeah, just dead excited really. Um, I just had a protein trait this morning, keeping food pretty basic. Um, just protein and fats until we get to Italy later. Um, flights at 9.15, we get to Italy about 12.30. So yeah, keep you updated, but I'm gonna crack on through this shitty weather and uh, the journey continues. Made it. So all settled at the airport, uh, always a bit of a stress for me because uh, I love my timings. So just to uh, know that I'm here, parking was fine, um, bag check was fine, didn't get pulled, which is good. Normally that's something that happens to me. And uh, just gonna have some eggs and stink out the local vicinity. And then gonna go find, just waiting for the information to come up on our gate. Um, and then we fly in about an hour and a half, so yeah. Good morning, happy with that. Um, my case was 20 kilos on the dot, so I felt quite uh, virtuous with that. And uh, yeah, still tired, but so far so good. It's cold, it's wet, it's time to go to Italy. have arrived and the weather is a lot better than the UK. A lot, a lot better. Here we go. It's, um, this lot's... Hello, Chris. How are we doing, pal? Chris from Pump Media, helping me out, giving me a lift from the airport. Absolute legend. VIP when you turn pro. <laughs> MSD University, it's all good. So, just in the Airbnb. Uh, apologies, my stuff is everywhere already. A little bit of a cribs. Um, such kind hosts and it is absolutely beautiful. Although I'm competing, I do not feel like I'm in competition mode. It's got an amazing balcony. It stretches all the way around. This beautiful living room. It's got just the kitchen in there. And then bathroom. And then this is the messy room. Nice, excellent size. Yep, I'm winning at life right now. Winning at life. So you've seen the apartment and this is the outside area. And honestly, I've struck gold. The hosts um, have just come and welcomed us and it is incredible. I'm sat here with a big bowl of oats on the terrace, in the sun. Life's good. Let's get full, let's chill out. And uh, I'm really looking forward to Saturday now. Because the hard work of training, prep, travel has been done. Start for an evening stroll. Absolutely gorgeous. Far stretch from 
Britain for sure. Good morning. So it is Friday. Um, it's just gone 7.30, which is a lion for me. Uh, I slept incredibly well and uh, feel really good for it. Yesterday, uh, although everything went really smoothly, um, it was still you know, a, fair, a fair deal of travel, getting to the airport, obviously the flight and getting to the apartment. It went very smoothly, but still uh, it was tiring. I uh, then went out for a um, pretty long walk in the afternoon to try to find a supermarket just to stock up on a few bits. Um, but yeah, I didn't do a lot yesterday. Um, like I said, I didn't eat uh, any carbs till I got here. When I got here, I did fill up pretty well. I was really quite happy with how full I looked before I went to bed. Um, obviously a little bit kind of fuller in the stomach as well. Um, so happy enough with things. Today, uh, day before the show, I'm going to do my check-in. So I'm sat here right now getting ready to get back to my lovely clients. Um, and I'm just gonna to continue to load. I'm gonna go a little bit harder this time um, and see what tomorrow can bring. See if I can be a bit fuller than the universe. I don't think um, condition is gonna be an issue. Uh, however, there's always that balance between condition and fullness. So yeah, again, this is a nice competition for me. The universe was massive. Uh, that's the one I wanted to really nail. Um, and now I can almost play around with something a bit different without being completely reckless. So, not sure I'm going to do a lot else today. Um, I don't know if you can hear it raining. It sounds lovely, uh, but it's very wet out there. So I'm going to register later on, get my tan done, and then have a nice easy day, I think, relaxing once the work's done. So I will check in with you guys later, and food in a minute. Right, so it's been a very uneventful day so far. Um, it's about half three. Registration um, is three till six, so I'm gonna wander over there now. The weather um, has cleared up a little bit, but it's still quite wet. Um, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, get that done, then I've got my tan later. I'll probably get either a taxi or um, one of the guys at the show to give me a lift there so that doesn't get ruined. Um, and then it's just plenty more food today, uh, and plenty more rest. It's been quite a long day because of the weather, not being able to get out for even a little wander. Um, but yeah, looking forward to having a, having a stroll down now and getting this ticked off one step closer to tomorrow. It's like being back in Britain with this weather. Charming. Who's this beautiful boy? Hello, hello, oh hello, oh hello, oh you good boy, look at you, hey, look at you. So my normal pre-tan posing here, um, something I always do uh, when I'm in kind of my normal skin colour um, to see where I'm at. At this point of the day, um, I'd eaten a lot of food, I drank a lot of water, um, and aside from kind of feeling a little full, uh, not too bloated to be fair, um, I was really, really happy with how I looked. I thought, you know, I looked and I felt quite full. Um, my condition I was very happy with. Obviously, I know you know, kind of the changes overnight that can happen, but given that I will be, will be competing tomorrow at... Uh, in the evening time, um, it's good to kind of have that comparison now. So yeah, this time round, um, compared to the universe, I wanted to bring a little bit of more of a fuller look um, and try not to compromise condition. At this point, I think I'm pretty much uh, where I want to be. I'm going to keep putting the food in all the way through uh, till bedtime and then tomorrow's show day. And I'll put two big meals in there um, and leave it there. So yeah, all in all, happy days, off to get tanned and uh, the final touches put in place. Okay, so I am here for my tan. Uh, as you can see, I've got my hair net on. I'm not doing any sort of cookery program. Um, and currently, very pale, but shortly, very tan. So, got brought over here by Chris from Pump Media. He's been an absolute lifesaver this trip, picking me up from the airport, taking me here. Um, so just taking a lot of stress off things. And yeah, I'll be happy once this is done. Another box ticked. Getting closer to tomorrow, it's about half seven now. So yeah, one more meal a bit later on and then uh, a good night's sleep, I hope. So I'm back in the apartment after having my tan. You can't say too much in this light, 
but I'm a lot less pale. Um, really nice, um, again, dead easy. Back home now, uh, it's coming up to about half nine. I've got my, you can't really see, you see, rice on the cooker, bit of veggies, I've got myself a nice steak. So I'm gonna enjoy that for my last meal and then go to bed. Tomorrow I'll go for one more coat again and uh, yeah, show day tomorrow. So it's a bit surreal because that's the end of the season. Um, I don't think it's the busiest show in the world, which is a good and a bad thing. Obviously I like to be, take part in really competitive shows, uh, but at the same time, it might mean it's done a bit quicker and sooner. So we will see. Um, but anyway, for now, that is the lead in to the show, pretty much wrapped up. Show day tomorrow and a nice chill day in Italy on Sunday.